fake too sharp. <laughs> Hello YouTubers, this is my two wheel drive version of a Chinese clone electric longboard. The aim here was to use as many stock Chinese clone electric longboard parts as possible as if they were up to the task. Um, the aim wasn't to have a high finished standard at the end of it. Hence why there's lots of screw terminals and um, stick down tabs and zip ties everything's sort of rough and ready. Um, there isn't even an on-off switch. I just connect those together and get a spark in the process. To keep it simple, I chose a push-pull configuration. The rear motor pushes the board along, obviously. The front one pulls it. Um, one, because it's um, in keeping with the ethos of trying to reuse the parts from a Chinese clone board. There's nothing special about this. This whole bit here is the assembly, the rear assembly from another Chinese clone board, that one there. Um, another reason I chose to do this was because I've heard good things about um, push-pull configuration and I was keen to try it out. I have two stock um, Chinese clone electronic speed controllers. Um, in here is a stock receiver and Bluetooth module. I just put it under cover to give it some protection. Stock battery, stock board, so yes, um, there's nothing particularly novel about that, apart from the fact there's two motors and two speed controllers. I even charged it with the um, stock battery management system and power supply. Wiring is simple, it's not much more than wiring each motor to its own speed controller, rear ones are there, and wiring those in parallel to the receiver. Um, in the description will be a link to a um, circuit diagram showing this. You can hear both the controller fans moving away there. So does it work? Yes, yes it really does. The two motors make such a difference in the delivery of the power and laying it down on the ground. Um, going up hills and accelerating um, is stupidly easy now. Um, there's no straining uh, at all. Occasionally the rear motor on its own, um, you can hear it struggling away to move my body weight around. Um, with two motors I don't get any of that. Um, acceleration and hills are a doddle on this thing. I suspect because the demands of the board are shared across two motors and speed controllers rather than just the one, um, that the speed controllers um, are less prone to failing. Um, if I were to continue testing this I could find out if that was true or not. But I'm not going to continue testing it, at least not in its current configuration, um, for a couple of reasons. Um, the first is the brakes, they are um, extraordinarily sharp, dangerously so. Um, one speed controller and one motor before would make this thing stop um, far too quickly. Two of them, uh, it's just ridiculous. I get thrown off um, far too often. So it's not usable, um, not if you want to brake anyway. The other reason is the handling is slightly off. Um, the front of the board tends to want to pull to one side. Um, I've read uh, various forums about people running push-pull combinations and this is not typical. Um, so I've tried tightening and loosening the trucks and stuff and it's not that. Um, I suspect it's because the front motor is different to the rear motor. Both motors are of Chinese clone electric longboards but this one is of the more recent generation and this is of the first generation and ideally when you run two motors together um, you want them to be exactly the same. So I sent off for another motor the same as this, when that comes through, I'll fit it to the front of the board and I shall test it. To sort the braking issue, I want two more speed controllers, um, different ones to these obviously. Um, I could get another VESC, but I don't want to do that. I want to try a different way of solving this. And um, Hobby King have marine speed controllers, 120 amp versions, and people building electric skateboards have used those quite successfully, so I want to get them. Um, 
the cheap, very, and available to people. So um, if I can get them on this and it works, it means if you guys want to give it a go, you have an option to try. So this is so nearly there. Um, I'll get two more speed controllers and a matching motor and um, I'll give this another go. So until next time, bye for now, but before you go, Cool.